God. You just want to glorify your name one more time. We give you praise. Hallelujah. We honor you. One more time for us to be in your presence. Hallelujah. Just to worship your sweet and matchless name. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus, everybody. Let us pray in the name of the Lord Jesus one more time. Let us lift your holy hands and worship the Lord. He's worthy to be praised. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Let that be your name, Lord. Glory to your sweet name, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Lord, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. At this time, we'll be beginning our morning service. Hallelujah, we'll be praying. Uh -huh. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Let us pray the name of the Lord Jesus one more time. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God, my beloved praying. Seeking the Lord for his divine leading and his direction. Praise the Lord Jesus and today's service. Let us pray together. Mighty God, everlasting Father, we give the glory, honor, praise. We thank you, O oh God, for this another day, O oh God, that we are able to come to your presence, O oh God, to come to hallelujah, to worship, to give you the praise and honor that you one more day to your sweet and glorious name. Father, we come praise and hope uh, to make service in your mighty hands. We pray, God, for your leading and your direction. Father, we pray, oh God, that your presence, oh God, will fill this place today. Father, we pray, oh God, that today's self will be slain. Father, we pray, oh God, that whatever we do, whatever we say, my Father, Jesus, and you, oh God, will get the glory. You will get the praise. You will get the honor. Lord, that our glory and honor and praise belong to you. Lord Jesus, touch every heart today. Come by your might and your power. Lord, move from every bench today, Lord Jesus. Let every bench today, oh God, be a place of worship. Father, we pray, oh God, that somebody will cry out today. We pray, God, that cries that have broken in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. They will vibrate once more. Father, we pray, oh God, that at the mention of your name today, God Almighty, something extraordinary will take place. Lord Jesus, hallelujah, we pray, God, that you send your words. Send your words and heal and anoint heaven to Father. Let your words go forth with power and anointing and clarity. Father, we pray for signs and wonders and miracles in the name of Jesus. Let utterance be given around this pulpit today in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Let your hands up on our musicians. That today, oh God, they will play skillfully under the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Lay your hands up on the praise team, oh God. We pray for them the strength and your anointing. Lord God, anoint those who are online this morning. We pray, oh God, that somebody, hallelujah, will get the revelation of who you are. Father, we pray, oh God, that somebody will show up the word of baptism. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that somebody will, hallelujah, receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Heavenly Father, God, we pray for our neighbors today and the right and on the left. Realize, oh God, that they are so close, but yet so far. But we ask you, oh God, that you will take and show them. Lord God Almighty, your ways are not our ways. Neither hallelujah, our talk, your talk. But God, you have a way. So we come ask you, oh God, that you will take full control. Almighty God, remember those who are on their way going to Arthur today. Father, we pray one for another for journey mercies. We pray, oh God Almighty, that today, Lord Jesus, my God, that somebody will come to know you as Lord and Savior. Lord Jesus, my God, strengthen. Oh God Almighty, bind them together with cards that cannot be broken. Lord Jesus, my God, our eyes are open you today. Of ourselves, we are nothing. But Lord Jesus, we look to you. That one more time, oh God, you, oh God, will take full control. Cover us under your blood today and let your blessed and your perfect will be done. Have your way, oh God, today. As we ask your mercies and say thanks in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. 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 
to Revelation 22. Jesus, I 
my mind made up. And I won't turn back. For I mean I'm, I'm going to see my Jesus someday. I'd like to greet you this morning in the precious, holy, and most adorable name, Jesus. We want to acknowledge our pastor, Pastor Brissett, Minister Johnson, members of the praise team, musician, all the saints and our visitors this morning, and those who are joining us online. We're just so very happy that you're able to worship the Lord this morning with us. We want to just believe the Lord even from now. We want to worship him from the depths of our hearts. And we are assured that he is already here. For we have felt his presence. And I don't know what you need this morning. I don't know what your situation is. But just believe God. Oh, bless the name of the Lord Jesus. He is more than able to minister to our different conditions. We are the United Pentecostal Church. Located right here in 36 Summerstone Road. And we also want to greet all our neighbors who are hearing us. We're just so happy. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus that we're able to be in his house one more time to declare that he is God. Praise the Lord Jesus. When we look around us, the things that are happening, you know, every now and then there seem to be a glimmer of hope. And then some things just come and just dash the hopes. But he remains God. In spite of the changing circumstances, he is consistently God. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. And he's bigger than all our problems. He's bigger than all our fears. He be, he's bigger than any mountain that we can or cannot see. And we're just going to exalt our God today. We believe in God for victory. And you're in the right place at the right time. If you're joining us online, just stay online. Don't leave. Praise the Lord. God has something in store for you. We're declaring that this will be a week of victory. Oh, bless the name of the Lord Jesus. Some, uh, some heavy burdens will be undoed today. will be undone. And we believe in God that, you know, somebody can receive the gift of the Holy Ghost today. Somebody can be revived today. Somebody can even be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. God is here and when God shows up, anything is possible. So let's thank the Lord by faith. Let's start believing God, saints. Come on, let's believe God. Oh, some of us don't realize how privileged we are. Oh, bless the name of the Lord Jesus. The restriction of 50. Many would want to come, but you know that we have to be mindful of the numbers. So you can't afford to come in the house and just come and sit. Oh, bless the name of the Lord Jesus. You've got to maximize your opportunity to praise and to lift up the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Praise God, he's worthy to be praised. Jesus, be a fence all around me every day. Lord, I, I want, want you to, to protect, protect me as I, I travel along life's way. Lord, I know you can. Oh! 
Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. We're going to be praying at this time. There are some persons who have requested prayer or for whom prayer has been requested. And we believe that our God is well able to minister to every need. Nothing is too hard for our God. James 5 instructed us that, you know, if there's somebody that's sick among us, they should call for the elders of the church. The elders of the church would anoint with oil and would pray. Oh, bless God. And the, word, and the scripture says that the prayer of faith will heal the sick. And we believe he's still healing today. Oh, bless the Lord. Nothing is too hard for our God. And we, are, we have some testimonies of some persons who have been ministered to. Who have been healed of their diseases, of their infirmities, of their illnesses. And we believe that God is still God. So we're going to be praying for these persons. And if you have a special request, you might be online. You're free just to lift your spirit and to believe God. We want to hear about the testimonies of God's healing and deliverance. You know, the more we talk about what God is doing, we encourage each other. Praise the Lord. So we're going to lift our faith. I'm going to invite us to stand. We're going to be praying. We have two elder sisters who are in need of healing. Oh, bless God. And God is able to touch their bodies. Whatever endurance is, whatever aches, whatever pain, God can minister to it. We are his children. We're asked to pray for a man who cannot walk. He got COVID. And it was so severe until he's not recovered fully. He's not able to do some things he used to do. But God is able to touch his body and to make him whole. We've been asked to pray for a family. Sister wants to pray for a family. They are all unsaved. And she believes that God is able to save everyone. Hallelujah. We're going to lift our faith. You have a special need this morning. I want you just to lift your hands. Oh, bless the Lord Jesus. And God is taking note. Hallelujah. And he's able to minister to your different needs. So we're going to believe the Lord. Don't you worry. Your healing starts now. Don't you worry. Your healing starts now. Oh! 
Hallelujah, 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 glory, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to lift our faith right now and we're going to believe God. Hallelujah. He's here, he's here, he's here. Hallelujah. Your healing starts now. Hallelujah. Lord God, we thank you for grace. We recognize God that you are well able. To minister to our every need. We come right now, God, placing these elderly sisters in your hands. We recognize, dear God, that you are still able to minister to the needs of your children. You understand what's going on in their bodies. You understand the source of the pain and the discomfort. Your word tells us in Psalm 100, it is you that have made us and not we ourselves. You are our creator and so God, you're able to minister to what needs to be ministered to. We place them in your hands and we claim the victory. We come, Lord God, presenting this family. This sister has requested prayer for her family. They are all unsaved. Oh God, but you have saved her. And God, she's deeply concerned about the family members. Oh God, who have not yet surrendered their hearts to you. Lord, you're able to work through whatever means or by whatever means you want. I pray right now, God, that you lay your hand upon daughter. I pray you lay your hand upon husband. I pray you lay your hand upon in-laws. I pray that you'll cover. I pray that you'll minister. I pray for revelation of yourself to them. By whatever means you choose, their God, change the circumstances of this family so that they all will be saved. We pray for other families. Some persons might be online reaching out right now for unsaved family members. Cover everyone under your blood, Jesus. Minister to them right now. Oh God, you have extended mercy Oh God, that's why we're able even now to be in your presence. And I pray God that you'll just touch their minds, touch their bodies. Open their understanding towards your word. That they'll recognize that only you can save. Oh God, we come to you another time. God, just lifting up your name. For you're able to do above what we can ask or think. You are a miracle working God. You have worked several miracles right here at 36 Summerstone Road. And God, we have been asked to pray for this man who has been severely impacted by COVID-19 virus. Oh God, the disease has reaped havoc on his body. But dear God, we know you're a miracle working God. I pray now God that you'll touch the muscles. I pray you'll touch the ligaments. I I pray you'll touch the tendons. I pray you'll touch the bones. I pray you'll touch the blood vessels in his feet. I pray that you'll touch his brain. I pray when the signals are sent uh, that oh God, the muscles of the, every world, everything will work oh God together so that he'll be able to carry around himself. You're still a miracle working God. Oh, we come to you today God because there is none other that can help but you. Work a miracle now, Lord. And even now, God, there might be some persons online who are reaching out. There might be some neighbors who are in need of a miracle. Holy Jesus, lift up a standard against the enemy and just minister to them even now. In the name of Jesus. Only you alone deserve to be magnified. We praise and we lift up your name because you are God. There is none like you, Jesus. You are God all by yourself. Be exalted in our presence even now. We bless your name and we lift you up. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. You may be seated. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's just believe God for miracles. And we're expecting to hear the testimonies. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. He's still working out some things for some persons. He's still opening some doors. He's still a way maker. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. Praise God. He's worthy to be praised. Bless the name of the Lord Jesus. Do you know the name?
name of the Father? Do you know the name of the Son? Do you know the name of the Holy Ghost? Don't you know the three I
but a stranger here. I'm growing on. Someday I'll take my life. Oh, I'm sweet love. Is that right, Praise the name of the Lord Jesus, everyone. Praise God. These are the announcements for this week. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. There will be prayer in the sanctuary tomorrow afternoon at 5.45 p.m. Praise the name of the Lord. And in the sanctuary prayer. On Tuesday, we'll be having youth service in the sanctuary as well at 5.45 p.m. Praise the name of the Lord. And on Thursday night, we'll be having Bible studies, and that will be at 5 p.m., praise the name of the Lord Jesus, and it will be in the sanctuary, but it will also be live streamed on our Facebook page. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise God. Bath will be having their hymns of praise on Thursday night. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. The details, it will be virtual. The details will be sent to you. Praise God. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. And of course, our National Chiefs of Christ service will be October 29th, and that will be virtual as well. And those details will follow at a later date. Praise God. I'm going to invite us all to stand, those of us who are able to.
and I'm going to invite our ushers to come. Lord Jesus, we are so grateful for your goodness. We are so grateful for your grace. We are so grateful for every blessing that you have bestowed upon us. And Lord Jesus Christ, it is offering time, O oh God, the time when we give back a portion of what you have given to us. I pray, Lord Jesus Christ, that you bless every hand that stretched to give, that they would have to give another time. And we're careful to give you the glory, the honor, and the praise in Jesus' name. Is a painless offering a good thing? 2 Samuel 24, verse 24. And the king said unto Aruna, Nay, but I will surely buy it of thee at a price. Neither will I offer burnt offerings unto the Lord my God of that which doth cost me nothing. So David bought the threshing floor and the oxen for 50 shekels of silver. No wonder David is described as a man after God's own heart. He would not offer to God something that cost him nothing. David not only refused to give a painless offering, he seemed to despise the very idea. How contrary is our thinking to that of David in the matter of giving an offering to the Lord? The attitude of our current generation toward giving to the local church seems to be, let's only give what is painless and what will never be missed anyway. How strange this kind of thinking would be to a man like David. Pastors and other church leaders are often muzzled on the topic of giving because of a subtle yet hostile attitude that exists among the members who act as if they would never be urged to make any kind of sacrificial gift. Nobody wants to make the offering a painful thing, but we must be, we must be wary of the notion that it should always be painless. Let us give with the heart of David, refusing the idea of the painless offering our ushers will serve you give what you have and the lord will give you more give what you have there is something more in store give what you have and the lord will give you more give what you have to the lord give what you have and the Lord will give you more. Give what you have there is something more in store. Give what you have and the Lord will give you more. Give what you have to the Lord. Give what you have and the Lord will give you more. Give 
Mr. Johnson to come and greet us, after which the praise team will be ministering in song. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. He alone is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. He is worthy. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Let me hear you praise the Lord Jesus. Let us lift our hands and worship the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, praise the name. Oh, praise your name. Oh, praise your name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I just want to give God thanks for his goodness and his mercies. Hallelujah. Give the Lord thanks to be alive. Praise the Lord Jesus to be in his presence, to able to feel his presence one more time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I love the Lord Jesus. And this morning, I just want to thank him for all that he has done. Praise the Lord Jesus. The songwriter said, when I look back over my life, praise the Lord Jesus. And when I think things over, I can truly say, I've been blessed this morning. Hallelujah. And I have a testimony. Praise the name of the Lord. I want to greet my pastor this morning. Pastor Barbara Brissett, in the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus, Minister Drisdale and his family, all the saints of the living God, those who are watching online, praise the Lord Jesus. I want to greet you all in the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus. Just give the Lord thanks to see Mr. Murray one more Sunday morning. Hallelujah. We pray that God will really breathe upon him a special blessing this morning. In the name of Jesus, and we pray that today, he will put on the name of the Lord Jesus in water baptism. Believe me, church, today, that God is going to show up in this place. Hallelujah. And he's going to show up in a mighty way. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, glory to God. Hallelujah, he's worthy, he's Praise worthy, he's God. worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the dark of the midnight Have I often hid my face While the storms howls about me And there's just no hiding place Need the clash of the thunder Precious Lord, hear my cry, keep me safe till the storm passes by. Till the storm passes over and the thunder. Stand in the hollow of thy 
storm passes by. Many times Satan whispers, there is no use to try. There is no end to my sorrow. The storm passes over, and the thunder sounds no more, till the clouds roll forever from the sky. Hold me fast, let me stand in the hollow of the Storm comes no more. Let me stand in thy presence, and the bright peaceful shore in that land where the tempest never comes.
around us what's happening in the world it's like we're in a dark cold threatening storm it's blowing wild but we have a God that can cover us he can place us in the hollow of his hand and we want to trust God today knowing that he can minister to us even in our storms. I want for us to prepare our hearts to receive a word from the Lord. And the word of the Lord is very important. The Lord often gives directives and comfort and admonition. Whatever we need, he can send it through his word. And we want to hear from God today. So I'm going to be asking all the saints just to be praying in your hearts silently. That God will just anoint his ministering servant and will speak through her. And so I invite to minister the word of the Lord to us today under the anointing of the Holy Ghost, our pastor, Pastor Barbara Brissett, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Anointing. Fall on me, and no set me free. Let the power of the Holy Ghost fall on me, and no fall on me. Let's worship as we sing, anointing. And the Lord. I pray that that will be your prayer today. Have you ever felt the anointing? Hallelujah. Can you still feel the anointing? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Thankful one more time that I'm privileged to be in the company of the saints and in the presence of the Almighty God. I greet you all in the precious name of the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord. Thanking Minister Drisdale for conducting the service thus far. Praise the Lord. So I greet him and his family members. Minister Johnson as well. Everybody up here, glad to see you all. Thank you for being faithful. Hallelujah. You will be rewarded one day. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. When the roll is called up yonder, I'll be there. 
What about you? Hallelujah. Do you have the assurance that you will be there? May God help us. Praise the Lord Jesus. Could you just stand with me as we read the text? I don't normally have a lengthy text, but this one today is not long, but it's not short. <laughs> 1 Corinthians 6, 1 through 12. Hallelujah. And we are going to read alternately this morning. I mean, all of us will take part. I do the first, second, and in that order. 1 Corinthians 6, beginning at verse 1. Dare any of you, having a matter against another, go to law before the unjust and not before the saints. Know ye not that we shall judge angels? How much more things that pertain to this life? I speak to your shame. Is it so that there is not a wise man among you? No, not one that shall be able to judge between his brethren. But brother goeth to law with brother, and that before the unbelievers. Now therefore, there is utterly a fault among you, because you go to law one with another. Why do ye not rather take wrong? Why do ye not rather suffer yourselves to be defrauded? Nay, ye do wrong and defraud, and that your brethren. Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Be not deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor abusers of themselves with mankind. Nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, not, shall inherit the kingdom of God. And such were some of you, mm. but ye are washed, <laughs> but ye are sanctified, but ye are justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and by the Spirit of our God. All things are lawful unto me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful for me, but I will not be brought under the power of any. Bless the Lord. We're going to give God thanks and just ask him another time to direct and to really lay his hands on us. Let's pray. Thank you, Lord, for your strength. Thank you for your written word. Thank you for those who are here today and those who have joined otherwise. Lord Jesus, our eyes are unto you. So unto thee, O oh Lord, we lift up our soul. I pray, my God Almighty, that we'll feel your presence during this important part of the service. Let your word be anointed. Let your servant be anointed. Help us to have receptive hearts, Lord. Bring us under conviction. Reveal your will unto us in Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. Thank you. You may be seated. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The focus this morning will be on the Christian spirit. Hallelujah. And I'm not talking about the Holy Ghost, which every Christian should have. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm not going to tell you what I'm talking about. You should find that out very soon. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For many of us, we had to complete forms, probably to get into a school or to get a job. And sometimes that form speaks to the matter of religion. Isn't that so? Yes, the matter of religion is addressed. 
And uh, we know it doesn't mean whether you are Pocomania or Baptist. But if you are a Christian, isn't that so? Yeah. You belong to a Christian religion. You're not Muslim, you're not Hindu or one of those. Amen. Now, Christianity is a worldwide religion. In fact, it is the largest of the major religions. Praise the Lord. Its following exceeds 2 billion. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. The basic belief of Christianity is that Jesus Christ, hallelujah, he lived, then he died for our sins, he was buried, and he rose again. All of that to bring fallen man back in fellowship with God. Let's bless the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Now there are many brands of Christianity. I just call it brands, you know? Like, like a pair of shoes, a dress, a hat. Many brands. Isn't that so? And the strands are called denominations. Bless the Lord. Amen. More and more and more and more. And when they come off and they call some cults. Amen. Yes. However, we fall into the Pentecostal group. Can I hear an amen for that? Yes. Yes. We fall into that group. Who are they? Who are the Pentecostals? Hmm? These are the persons who worship with enthusiasm. Praise the name of the Lord. You don't fold your arms and, 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 and. yes, Jesus loves me. You don't, you don't say that. We prefer, he's coming back again. He's coming back again. He went away not to stay. He's coming back again. Hallelujah. Glory. 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 So we worship with enthusiasm and fervor. These persons who are called Pentecostals, they clap, they sing, they shout, they dance, and they're in the spirit. And they use musical instruments, you know, to add to the service. I'm not going to use a big word, but to add to the service. Yeah. Hallelujah. But there is a subdivision. Did you know that? In the Pentecostal classification. Praise the name of the Lord. That is the oneness. The oneness. Pentecostals. Amen. They are singled out. And may I add, rightly so. Rightly so. Hallelujah. Matthew 25, 32 shows that the sheep will be separated from the goats. Jesus declared, my sheep know my voice. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Oneness Pentecostals believe that there is but one God. Yes, not a trinity of gods. We believe the apostolic doctrine of repentance, baptism in the name of Jesus, receiving the Holy Ghost, having the biblical evidence of speaking in tongues as the Spirit gives utterance. So we know what we sing when we sing, one, 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 one way to God, one, 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 just one way to God. And that is to baptize. 
In Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you. I am called a Christian. But am I? Simple but big question. Am I? Living, am I living as a Christian always? Not sometimes. Always. We have a call unto holiness. Amen. Hallelujah. Years ago, there was a program on the radio, and that was the opening song. Call unto holiness. That was beautiful. Amen. I think we all read our Bibles. And the epistles, beginning with Romans, were not addressed to non-Christians. You know that? They were not addressed to unsaved. On reading them, we find that some serious issues were addressed. Bless the Lord. And you wonder if they were really talking to Christians. Serious issues. I bless the Lord Jesus. True Christianity goes beyond the label. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm speaking truth, but you can respond. True Christianity I'm talking about addresses the condition of the heart. The heart and the lifestyle. Change must be evident. Wonderful song, definitely changed. Hallelujah. That should be really real in our lives. Definitely changed. Paul warned that our walk or our way of life should be different from the unconverted Gentile. Ephesians 4 and verse 17. We must walk in the Spirit. In so doing, will not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Walk in the spirit. Amen. That means live in the spirit. It doesn't mean as you go in the town, left, right, I'm in the spirit. I'm in the spirit. I'm in the spirit. It's the way how you live. Hallelujah. Walk. Walk in the Spirit. Thank God. Galatians 5 and verse 16 says, This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Now we should not limit the Spirit's work and effect to church purposes only. It touches or guides or guards every aspect of our lives. Not just for church. You know, sometimes you have church clothes. Some of us do. But Christianity is not like that. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Please don't get silent on me. Now there's a traditional chorus, and I thank God for those persons in the early days that used to just make courses out of their hearts. They barely could do a sentence correctly, but what they did made sense. And one said, I must have Jesus in my whole life, in my walking, in my talking, in my sleeping, in my waking. I must have Jesus in my life, my whole life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You must have Jesus in your whole life. Amen. Whoever the you is today, in your whole life. We have accepted the gospel, don't we? Amen. 
And I'm going to ask the Lord to touch this voice today for me. Amen. We have accepted the gospel in which water, baptism by immersion is a part. Amen. And as I thought about it, I said, the total man must be submerged, put under, plunged into water. This is what the Bible means by being baptized with Christ, being buried with Christ, if at all, in the name of Jesus. So we just don't take care, but you don't want to bring you up back. Somebody must say, in Jesus' name. Yes, I, I have shared with you several times an experience we had many years ago when our pastor was ministering in St. Thomas. Praise the name of the Lord. Many people do not know that that church is preached up by Port Antonio. Amen. Also Buff Bay. Amen. And we had mansion in mind. Hallelujah. More than in mind. We used to preach at Mansion Hill. Praise the name of the Lord. So, there's a sister who was converted from Trinitarian to being Pentecostal. And then she had such a zeal, she would witness the people. And this man reached a place, we want to be baptized in Jesus' name. She sent a letter, but letters used to go by snail's pace. When we got the letter, the baptism date was gone. So pastor said to her, how did you manage? She said, the man was ready. So I couldn't put it off. She didn't think of doing it herself. So she got a church of God minister. She said, come with me. Get in the water. Dip this man for me, but say nothing. Shut your mouth. And when he dipped, that man, she said in Jesus' name. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Glory. Yeah. Glory. Yeah. Baptism is so important, it should not be postponed. Ladies, if they come to you to be baptized, tell them sit and push them over. Yeah. Amen. You might cannot manage the traditional way, but please sit and just gossip. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Woo. Woo. Yes, sister, you too. If the grandchildren tell you they're ready, fill up the bathtub. I'm woo, in Jesus' name. Woo. You all heard about the Rastafarian story. When the men were in there, Doing their thing, the ladies were filling up the bath. Yeah. And as the man got the Holy Ghost, they took him to the bathroom and they baptized him in Jesus' name. Yeah. And by next day, the man did. Yeah. So, the Jesus' name is important. Yeah. Let's bless the Lord. Yeah. Buried with Christ. Yeah. Hallelujah. It has something to do with. Bearing the old man huh, with his deeds. Amen. And you rise to walk in newness of life. You know, we have the same desires, you know. When I thought about my conversion, we didn't have a second church like this one. I've never been to a new converts class. Amen. And the quality of ministry those days were not like what we have now. Amen. But I must say the Holy Ghost taught me. Bless the Lord Jesus. Scripture says if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. All things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 17. All things. Let's say all. All things, you bury the old man. And let me tell you something. You need to have a funeral. Amen. To close.
They're unable to have that closure. Amen. Hallelujah. Why are you walking around with him? Have a funeral, man. Glory to God Almighty. You know that he carries a stench? And wait. Woo! Bury the old man. And his deeds. I bless your name, Jesus. Be a new creature. All things are passed away. All things are become new. Our approach to life is new. Our problem solving skills become new. Everything new. Have you heard about tit for tat? So the tit for tat game is over. You know what I mean? You bust my mouth, so I'm going to bust yours worst. We're not under the law. We're under grace. The law is eye for eye and tooth for tooth. But Jesus said, turn the other cheek. Hallelujah. I bless your name, Jesus. Shall we just bless the Lord? My God. Paul had to remind the Corinthians about their newness in Christ. That's what we ha we have, we, why we have church. Amen. Amen. So we've got to remind you that you are not the old creature anymore. You are new. Newness in Christ. Now the apostles felt responsible for the welfare of the church and rightly so. We've got to carry a burden around for the church. So pray for your leaders. Sometimes I'm sorry for my national superintendent. Amen. Amen. He's carrying so much. And some of us can't get trouble, you know. Don't ask. Mercy, mercy, mercy. You know what I give God thanks for? All my years in church, I've never been called into the questions about misdeeds. And on my job too. And I had to meet an official on my job to answer to anything that's not right. It's something to thank God for, you know. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Okay. Now a church needs spiritual guidance. Do you think so? And sound directive in all aspects in all aspects local elders were put in charge of assemblies that means in the days of the apostles but from time to time they would seek for the intervention and guidance of the apostles amen don't feel that you know so much you can't ask somebody else. Praise the name of the Lord. God preserve our elders for a good purpose. Praise the name of the Lord. Now Paul had to write a very, very strong letter of rebuke to the Corinthians. Did you know rebuke is in it? Did you know rebuke is in it? Yes. Hallelujah. Hmm. He did that in order to reawaken their awareness of their new status in Christ Jesus. We need to be reminded. Yeah. For example, you're not your own. You were bought with a price. Therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which really... Belongs to God. Amen. I'm inviting you right now to take a look at what Paul had to deal with in the church. In the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues church. Look at some of the things that Paul had to deal with. He had to deal with jealousy. Divisions. I am of Apollos. 
Remember, I'm of Paul, I'm this. And the hoity toity one said, I'm of Christ. Shamosha. Yes, the visions. He had to deal with sexual immorality. Huh? My God. Man can have his father's wife in a church. Sexual immorality and failure to discipline offending members. If me think me bad, let me tell you, say, you know, raise the song right. Some of you would never come back here. Who am I? Can she sing? I do have to be able to sing. I have the Holy Ghost to guide me. And I do sulfur at school. Some of you don't know, know what name sulfur. Do re me for so lati do. Up the scale and down the scale. And take middle, middle this. Hallelujah. Yes. And I used to know where to find middle C. And I know treble clef and bass clef. What do you think? I know line and space and all those things. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. But I don't have to have all that knowledge. Amen. 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 Learn to take a rebuke in the good spirit. It's for your life. Glory to God Almighty. Don't tell me if, if you didn't know so that you're going to preach when you come. God allow you to be here. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Imagine somebody do wrong in the church and you can't speak to them. What kind of church that would be? We are born for heaven. Praise God. Now, do we as a church today face similar problems as those which were faced by Paul and others? If so, how do we deal with such matters? Amen. You know, sometimes some leaders are so afraid to deal with these matters because the tides can dry up. I've heard of it, people abroad, and I'm talking about Jamaica, it's a worldwide thing. They decided to starve the pastor and his family. Church abroad, I'm talking about. And, and, and nothing coming in, source dry up. But the Lord dropped box of grocery on the porch. Hallelujah. Yes, sister, look at God. Look at God. We can't become that of us so spiritually minded because carnality is death. I'm preaching what is in the Bible, saints. Forgive me if I'm going wrong. Amen. In the text of chapter 6, we see believers going to court to settle disputes. Amen? That should not be. Now, we have got to the realistic saints. We are human beings. We are not changed yet. And people will have issues and disagreement. No matter how spiritual you are. Huh? Amen. You will have issues. Amen. But how you solve the problem is another matter. Disputes will come. Amen. But if I dress you down properly today, we're not going to see you next week Sunday. May God help us. Paul remarked, the saints shall judge the world. When he looked at what was happening in the Corinthians church, he said, look, you know, you don't even know your status. The saints shall judge the world. They shall even judge angels. Whoosh. So they are qualified to settle your disputes here. Amen. Amen. Disputes that arise among 
and between brethren. Saints. In fact, Paul said, let the least among you. Amen? Let those in kindergarten. They don't have to be high school. Much more university. A basic kindergarten. Or a basic school student. Should be able to, to, to settle the matter. To say, look, the green pencil is yours and the red one is yours. They can't do that. It's similar things at a higher level. May God help us. Can we give the Lord a wave offering in his sanctuary? <coughs> As a Holy Ghost filled, water baptized saint of the living God, instead of going the route of the world, what Paul says, take the wrong. Let's all say that. Take the wrong. Amen. Accept the mistreatment and retain. Keep your testimony and your anointing. Lord, I want to keep my anointing. Hallelujah. No matter what, no matter what happens, you need to retain your fellowship. Your fellowship is important. Everybody here is important. None is more important than the other. We miss you when you go. So please stay. Amen. I can't say I and gone a long time. A soul is precious. Jesus died on the cross of Calvary for you. Amen. Let's thank the Lord. Oh, God. Retain your fellowship. Don't be puffed up. One against the other. Was Paul's admonition. I'm just quoting what Paul said. Because that's what, what he found in the Corinthians church. When he tried to settle and rebuke, they get puffed up. May God help us to be spiritual. We are called to be like Jesus. He is our perfect example. I like Peter's expression of 1 Peter 2, 21 and 25. He said, this is what you are called unto. Christ suffered for us. Leaving us an example. That he should follow his steps. He did no sin. Neither was guile found in his mouth. When he was reviled, he reviled not again. When he suffered, he threatened not. He bore sins on the tree. That being dead to sin should live Unto righteousness by whose stripes ye were healed. Amen. Amen. I love you, Lord. Yes, we were healed spiritually and physically because of Jesus' suffering and death. And today we are still being healed. Amen. We are still being healed. I am the Lord that healeth thee. Scripture says, we went astray, but we are now returned to the shepherd and bishop of our souls. Jesus Christ, our Lord and our God. Bless the Lord Jesus. Bless the Lord Jesus. Remember, saints, we are not our own. We were bought by a price. So do what? Precious blood of Jesus. Amen. So we glorify God. In 1 Corinthians 6.20, Paul gave the conclusion. For you were bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. 
God is interested in the total man. Not just the spiritual part of you. In fact, the Bible says your, your body is a temple. Yes, your body is a temple of a living God. Shall we give God thanks? Yes, we are not our own. Our souls have been redeemed. And one of these days, the body also will be fashioned like unto his glorious body, the body of the Lord. Philippians 3.21. Paul admonished the Philippians to use those brothers and sisters who walk godly as examples. Praise the Lord Jesus. We bless the Lord Jesus. Amen. Why? He said because there are many enemies of the cross around who are destined for destruction. Don't say, well, this one in the church and she can't do this or you can't do that. Scripture said they are enemies of the cross. And, and, and they are destined for destruction. Hallelujah. Let your communication, or in other words, let your way of life be heavenly. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Word of encouragement. Take heart, dear saints of God. All the sacrifices you are making now will not be in vain. You'll be worth it. Amen. Amen. Let the word of God dwell in you richly. In all wisdom and teaching and admonishing one another. Scripture says you have to do that. You have to admonish one another in Psalms. Have you ever read a Psalm or said a Psalm to somebody else? Scripture said you have to do that. You can make up your own psalm, you know. Amen. Those psalms are written by people like us out of their experiences. Praise the name of the Lord. You have to also do that in hymns. Spiritual songs. Singing with grace. Hallelujah. When last have you heard the grace coming out when somebody sings? Singing with grace in your heart to the Lord. Not impressing anybody. It's to the Lord. Hallelujah. We all can sing with grace to the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Speak to us, Jesus. Turn us inside out, Jesus. Hallelujah. Saints, why am I saying all of this? There are souls to be saved. Amen. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. There are souls to be saved. <laughs> you know, people are attracted to fire. You know that? I remember one, one, one many years ago when I was living down that way. I saw smoke coming from a direction. And I dashed out of my kitchen and went in the direction of the smoke. And Titchfield Hotel was on fire. And while I was there, I said to my sister, did I turn off the stove? She said, yes, sister, but I said, go back. Look. When she went, the dish towel caught fire. Amen. Yes. Fire is attractive. So, make a fire. Sisters and brothers, everybody, make a fire. Make a fire. If you can't make a fire, support the fire. Don't douse it. Come with a wet blanket. 
kushawa. Ah? Huh? Or how much length of hose? You can't make a fire. Support it, man. That's what Paul was doing, although he was beaten by a viper. Put something on the fire. That we call that combustive that can light. Because people are attracted to fire. Mm, the adversary, COVID-19. Don't let it put out your fire. Hallelujah. Amen. You can't come to church, you find your door and you start. Boom. Have your own service. Don't let your fire go out. People want to see and feel the fire. Hallelujah. So, handle your problems with the spirit of grace. Cover them with love. Cover your problems with love. Like that little child all the way in St. Elizabeth many years ago. We were spending a week in evangelism. And there were two, two children in there. They weren't sisters, but related. And one came to me. She pulled off her dress off her shoulder. And she said, Sister Brissett, look how son so bite me. I could see all the teeth marks. But I said, me love her same way. Amen. My husband never forgot, forget that statement. Huh? She bite me, but me love her. Do you love your sister and your brother in the same way when you are bitten? Hallelujah. Cover them with love. Not with hostility. I'm preaching to the saints today. We are called to be saints. Hallelujah. Now, never you allow unbelievers to focus on the wrong things. You open up the shortcomings until they can focus on the shortcomings. Don't allow them to do that. But guide them to see the main purpose of the church. That's why someone will come and tell me, the lady said, I was planning to come to your church, but I, but I can't come because the other person tell her how much you pay for tithes. I said, that's not part of her business. Huh? Unsaved, the business how much you pay. Unsaved, the business how much you honor God. That between you and God. Where were they when God delivered you? Woo! The same God that shut the lion's mouth that Daniel testified about. You know how much time God shut lion mouth for you? You know how much time God walked in the fire like man for you? We are already unsaved. All need to do is to repent, baptize in Jesus' name, and get the Holy Ghost. And I know I know there's something in the saints. The person who under God their tithes are blessed. Hallelujah. Not even then close tear up like Israel. Amen. 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 So as much as possible. Secure the integrity of the church. Hallelujah. Woo, glory. Ah, may God help us. May God help us. Yes. We are here in this pandemic. And that word is on everybody's lips. But saints, I am convinced... That we have come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Why would God cause me to be here? He didn't have to. We are here for a purpose. And we are not going to pull in, in, in our shells like hermit crab. We call them soldier crab. No. 
Hallelujah. We have come to the kingdom. For the time that this. Hold on. Let no man take your crown. No matter what. Is my crown you want? Huh? The game at school. Mother hen and her chicks. She have had 12 chicks. And when the, when the heart come down, I, I used to love to play that game. Mother hen. And when the hawk says, I must have a chick. Mother hen says, you can't have a chick. And the hawk ball up. Yeah! Huh? Mother hen says, the hawk is coming down. You're not getting my chick. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hold on. Let no man take your crown. And my salvation you want to spoil? You have a guest coming. Yeah. Hallelujah. I'm going to ask the whole world to pray for me. We can't do that now, you know. One text. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hold on for dear life. If you fall, don't get up with it. Yeah. Woo! Get up with it. Many have slipped and have slidden. But they get up. Hallelujah. Woo. So hold on. <clears throat> Jesus. Hallelujah. May God help us. May God help us. Ending on a very serious note. Very serious note. I have observed, you know, especially those evangelists. Everybody is on, is on the air now, but when you have these radio preachers, and we listen to them, so some of them, in, in, in concluding, their message would say, pick a church of your choice. Ever heard that? Yeah, go to a church of your choice. But I would like to recommend a church that preaches and believes the apostolic doctrine and strives for holiness. This is what God requires. Seek such a church and when you find it, stand fast. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Can we praise the name of Jesus? Lord, Can we praise the name of the Lord Jesus? Oh, bless the name of the Lord. We thank God for sending a word to minister to our hearts. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. And somebody said, let the church be the church. Oh, bless the name of the Lord Jesus. We want to take heed of the word. Oh, bless God. It's by taking heed to the word that our ways will be cleansed. Praise the name of the Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to invite us to stand. We're going to be singing number 86 from the Pentecostal hymnal. And I'll open this altar for anyone who would like us to pray with you. Praise the name of the Lord. He's worthy to be praised. Number 86 from the Pentecostal hymnal. Praise God. Is your all on the altar? Praise the Lord. He's worthy to be praised. Hallelujah. And I want you to be free to come to the altar. We just ask that when you come, that you observe the physical distance recommended hallelujah you have longed for sweet peace and for faith to increase and the burnessly Oh, 
and a peace and sweet rest as you yield it. As you yield it, your body and soul. children are standing on the altar but I'm still giving the invitation is there another hallelujah hallelujah Jesus you can only be blessed and a peace and, and sweet rest
Hallelujah. We're going to believe God right now. He can minister to everyone standing in this altar. Probably you wanted to come, but you stayed in your seat. He can reach you where you are. On the outside, all might appear to be well, but you're broken inside. Potter is here. He can put you back together. He can mend your broken heart. We're going to lift our faith. And let's just believe God. Those of us who need to take another grip. Who need to draw closer. The Lord sent a word. We want to be Christians. The Babosha. We want to take heed. Oh, God. Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm going to be asking Sister Sims to come at this time, and she's going to be praying for those persons who are in the altar, and she's going to be closing in prayer. Hallelujah, Jesus. Your body and soul as you heal your body. Excellent is thy name in all the earth. You set your glory above the heavens and the earth. Lord Jesus Christ, you know us. You know exactly where you, we are. And just like the doctor who knows the patient and the symptoms, knows exactly what to prescribe, God, you have given us the prescription today, O oh God Almighty, through your word. A reminder of what we should be as Christians. Lord Jesus Christ, you recognize that the times change, but the prescription hasn't changed. Time has changed, oh God, but what you expect of us hasn't changed. Oh God, a call unto holiness, a call unto righteousness, a call to be believers as become its saints. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your love because God, it is out of the abundance of your love. Oh God Almighty, you have sent the right word, a relevant word for the season and so mighty God as we stand before you we pray that even right now Lord God will not just allow the word to just go to come through one year and go through another, oh God. But that even now, Lord Jesus, we will think about the word, we'll meditate on the word, we will apply the word, Lord Jesus. I pray that even right now, that everything, oh God Almighty, that all those things that might hinder the word from taking root, Lord Jesus, as the word was given in the in the, the, the gospels when it spoke about the good ground, oh God, I pray that will be good ground for the word that has gone forth. Uh, oh God, that it will give, oh Lord Jesus Christ, rise. Uh, and oh God Almighty, that will multiply hundredfold in the name of Jesus. Uh, I pray, oh God Almighty, that will allow the word 
to change us from the inside out, oh God Almighty. Those of us who need to take another grip, oh God, that we will take another grip that when we stand and we look in the mirror of the word, when we would have seen where we have fallen short, mighty God, that we will use the word, oh God Almighty, as the thing that we measure up against, oh God, that will not measure up against what the world says because the world is not righteous uh, and the world will always look for an excuse and a loophole for us to not just be all that you have called us to be. Oh God, in this time when we're so, we're into being comfortable Christians, Lord Jesus, uh, I pray, oh God Almighty, that the word will steer us up uh, out of our comfort zone and of, out of our spirit of complacency. I pray, Lord Jesus Christ, that the word uh, will come alive in our hearts, that the word will come alive in our spirits, uh, that the word will come alive, oh God Almighty, in our walking, in our talking, uh, in our conversation, oh God Almighty, that the word will come alive uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I pray, oh God Almighty, that those who need to be rebuked, uh, oh God, that we have taken our rebuke, those who need to be reproved, uh, that we have taken our reprovement, Lord God Almighty, those uh, who need to be soothed, uh, have taken the soothing mighty God, but it was not to leave the same way we came. Lord Jesus Christ, in this time, oh God, it is no coincidence. It's no accident while we are here. Oh God Almighty, the word began with we are come to the kingdom for such a time as this. And that Lord Jesus Christ, you need of men and women and children and young people, almighty God, who are ready, who are equipped, Lord Jesus. And so this afternoon, this morning, God Almighty, I pray that there will be a shift in our spirits, oh God Almighty, that there will be a change. Oh God, we recognize that it doesn't take you long to work, oh God Almighty, but the word declares that Saul, when he turned around, he was a new man, he had a new heart. I pray, Lord Jesus Christ, that when we leave, oh God, we would leave transformed, oh Lord Jesus, that will no longer be puny, Lord God Almighty, and will no longer be weak, oh God Almighty, but the Lord Jesus Christ will rise up and will quit like men, hallelujah, that will be good soldiers in the army of the Lord. Lord, almighty God, we recognize that the pandemic does not stop what you want us to do. Oh God almighty, that the pandemic does not stop the healing, the miracles, the signs, the wonders that you've been doing in the world, oh God. And so I pray those of us, Lord Jesus Christ, who have been going through, oh God almighty, a difficult period, help us to lift up our eyes like those children of Israel that lifted up their eyes in the wilderness unto the serpent in the name of the brazen serpent, Lord Jesus Christ. Even so, our eyes will be upon you, Lord Jesus Christ. Help us not to be taken over. Oh God Almighty or become so stressed and fatigued with what is going on in the world. Oh God, some of us we have taken it upon our shoulders. God Almighty, I pray that even right now that the only burden we'll have is a burden for souls in our hearts. Help us to leave all the other burdens here today because Lord Jesus Christ, if you clothe the lilies, hallelujah, with beauty and splendor, how much more will you clothe us? Lord Lord Jesus Christ, help us, oh God Almighty, to realize that we are worth more to you. Oh God Almighty, you loved us, oh God, that you gave your life for us. So help us to recognize and walk in this knowledge. Hallelujah, God. Help us to get over the fact, Lord Jesus Christ, I get over the mindset, oh God, that we are missing out on something. We are not missing out on anything. We are in the best place, oh God Almighty, that we could ever be being in the will of God hallelujah that we are in the right place at the right time with the right someone I pray Lord Jesus Christ that you will help us to shake off oh God almighty and to put off oh God the weight and the, the sin that so easily beset us and help us to run with patience oh God the race that you have given us oh God help us to run in our lane Lord Jesus Christ stay in the lane 
saying that you have given us. Uh, there are ministries that need to be birthed. Uh, oh, God Almighty, uh, there are, uh, Lord Jesus, intercessors uh, that need to walk uh, in the mantle of intercession. Uh, there are evangelists that need to rise up uh, and walk uh, in their calling. Uh, there are ministers that need to rise up uh, and walk in their calling. Uh, I pray, Lord Jesus Christ, that tonight, today, will be the day of transformation uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus, uh, in the name of Jesus, we might have thought it was another ordinary service, uh, oh God Almighty, but just as our, it has, oh God Almighty, there are showers uh, on the outside, mighty God, uh, we are believing, Lord God Almighty, and we know uh, that showers of blessing is what you want to give us, uh, but we need to be in the right place, uh, Lord Jesus Christ, we know uh, that the, uh, the fire of heaven wants to fall, uh, oh God Almighty, but it will not fall on an empty altar, oh God Almighty, uh, that we need to recognize that sacrifice Sacrifices have to be made, uh, sacrifices of prayer, sacrifices of fasting, sacrifices of giving, uh, sacrificing of our time, Lord God Almighty. And so the fire of heaven will fall uh, on an on a, on a altar that is occupied uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I pray, oh God Almighty, that every eye thing uh, that has lifted up itself against the knowledge of you will be brought low in the name of Jesus. Uh, there's so many persons who are burdened and are worried about their families, uh, sickness, uh, finances, uh, oh God Almighty, persons uh, wanting their families to be saved, uh, Lord God Almighty, help us to recognize that when we have prayed, uh, we should leave it there, oh God Almighty, and begin to worship you, uh, and begin to walk as if we believe that you have already done it, uh, oh God, the things that we think we need from you uh, are the things that you have already wanted to give us, uh, and you have already put it down for us, oh God, but we need to come in a line meant uh, help us to recognize oh God that nothing is done outside of the principles uh, that you have laid down. Uh, I pray oh God Almighty that even right now that we'll get back to the place uh, where you want us to be uh, oh God Almighty uh, let's get back to the place oh God where you want us to be. Uh, I pray oh God Almighty we rebuke every spirit uh, of complacency. Uh, we rebuke every spirit uh, of laziness. Uh, we rebuke every spirit Almighty oh, God of apathy, oh God Almighty, we rebuke every spirit of just watching and waiting and seeing and being spectators. Help us to become participants in the name of Jesus. Oh God Almighty, we don't need more programs. The programs are already existing. Oh God, but we need persons to work the programs in the name of Jesus. Help us to buy into the vision. Oh mighty God, the regional vision vision, the sectional vision, oh God, we were supposed to evangelize our different sections, uh, help us to recognize that God wants to give us an harvest, uh, but God, you're waiting on us, uh, the laborers to come into alignment. Lord God Almighty, those persons who are standing in the altar, you see them and you know them, God, those who need to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh, Lord Jesus Christ, it is your good pleasure to give the Holy Ghost uh, because your words declared in the book of Joel uh, that in the last day saith God, I will pour it of my spirit upon all flesh. Uh, oh God Almighty, and Peter spoke about it uh, in the book of Acts when he said this, is that which was spoken of uh, by the prophet Joel that in the last day saith God, uh, I will pour it of my spirit upon all flesh. God, we are not begging you, God. We are believing you for it because your words declared it and you cannot lie. And so, God Almighty, everybody who is standing in the altar, everybody who is sitting, oh God Almighty, in the pew or standing in the pew who have not yet received the gift of the Holy Ghost, I pray, oh God Almighty, that even right now, there will be a stirring, hallelujah, that right now, in the name of Jesus, that there will be repentance in the name of Jesus. Uh, the right now, oh God Almighty, uh, there will be conversion in the name of Jesus. Uh, I pray, oh God Almighty, uh, let your Holy Ghost fire sweep through this place uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, your words declared in the book of Acts uh, that clove and tongues like as a fire sat upon each of them and they were all filled with the Holy Ghost. Uh, we are still the book of Acts. Uh, we are still the book of Acts, oh God Almighty. We are chapter 29, oh God, and we are believing you, oh God. God, that the acts of God will continue. 
Have your way, Jesus. 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 Fire of God, Spirit of God, breathe upon us, breathe upon us, breathe upon us, Jesus. Breathe upon us, Lord God, breathe upon us, Jesus, as only you can, as only you can, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Spirit of the living God, fall afresh, God Almighty. There's some folks among us, God, who have not felt your anointing in a long time. Spirit of God, breathe upon us. Spirit of God, breathe upon us. Spirit of God, breathe upon us. Breath of God, breath of God, breath of God, breathe upon us. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we're grateful for what you're doing and what, what you're about to do. God Almighty, we recognize even if it is a closing prayer, it doesn't mean that your spirit left at amen. Oh, God Almighty. And so we're believing you that even now, Lord, even now, Lord, have your way, Jesus. 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 Hey. In the name of Jesus. 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 In your mighty name, God. Even those who might be watching. Oh, hallelujah. Right where you are, they are Jesus. Breathe upon them. Breathe upon them. Breathe upon them, mighty God. Even our neighbors, Lord Jesus Christ. Breathe upon them in the name of Jesus. In the name of... Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the In the name of Jesus. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And let's just let's just worship the Lord one more time. Saints, hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The presence of the Lord is in this place. The presence of the Lord is in this place. The presence of the Lord is in this place. The presence of the Lord is in this place. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Whatever you need of him, hallelujah. His presence is here. His presence is here. His presence is here. Hallelujah, 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 glory, 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 hallelujah, 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 hallelujah.
you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The songwriter says, why not? Why not come to him now? Why not surrender now? Just let God have his way. Let God have his way. I want to let you know that the water is troubled. There's water in the baptistry. You can be baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus today. Why not do it now? We're ready to baptize you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Why not today? Why not today? Why not today? I want to thank all of those persons who have joined us online. We believe in God for your victory. Feel free to share with us the testimonies, what God has been doing in your life. Praise the Lord Jesus. And you too, you might feel impressed to surrender your hearts to the Lord. You can be baptized in Jesus' name. You'd like for us to have a Bible study with you? We can do it with you over the telephone or by whatever means, by Zoom. Reach out to us, just contact us, and we will respond. Praise God. May God bless you richly in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah.